Hello everyone. Today, um, today we're at Cadmall Community Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to make paper flowers just like these, which you can put into the salt dough vases that I've shown you how to make last week, and they look very nice as a decoration for your room. What we need? So we will need a coloured paper, green paper, scissors, a ruler, a pencil, a straw, a Cheswick stick, and some glue. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is take your paper, your ruler, and maybe measure four centimeters width. My my ruler is four centimeters already, so I can just put it on the strip and mark the strip with the pencil. So once you've marked it, you cut it out. And you start in the edge, leaving one centimetre away from this, because then you're going to put glue on it. So, it's going to start. And I've already have a ready strip that I've already cut earlier. And this is how it should look like. You'll along the edge. So now we're going to take our Shashwick stick and we're going to slowly start rolling up these pieces holding onto the paper and just rolling until it's like a rolled up shape. And I've also made another one of these to start rolling them. Like so. And I already have a red strip of these, which I've made earlier as well. Which should look like this. Once you're done rolling the whole thing up. So then you take your glue and on, the, and on the opposite side of this, you glue it where the strips aren't shown and you put a large amount of glue on it on the back. So I'm going to put quite a bit of glue so it can hold on. So now that you have your glue, you take the straw and not exactly straight, but like a bit like this, a bit tilted, and then a bit like this, start rolling up the flowers, tilted from the top to bottom. until all the flowers are up. There we go. <clears throat> Let's say do that part. Now I'm going to show you how to do the leaves to the flower. So you take the green paper that you had before and you start folding it into four like, pieces, like so. Not too thick. You turn it around, the same thing on the other side, fold it. You have to fold it four times. And 
now that you've folded it four times, you cut off the excess paper that's left, carefully not to cut the, the folds, scissors. And once you're done cutting, you take your just pencil and the mark where you start off because well, these have to start off on the same point. They'll look even natural. So now that I've drawn the leaf, I'm going to cut it out. It looks like this. I'm going to really start cutting out of the same place where I started. So now that you've cut your leaf, you want to unfold it and put some glue on it. So do the glue. And you glue it down the bottom. Jinx. And then you go on the bottom a bit like this. Pinch the edge and start going up. That's your flower. So now that I've made the flower, I'm going to show you how to make. It's very fluffy, it's very fluffy, and they're really easy to make flowers. Which they're made out of felt and plain paper. To make these fluffy flowers, you're going to need some paper, really thin paper. That's the tissue paper. Tissue paper, yeah. A cup, a pencil, scissors, a pipe, pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. <laughs> and a pipe cleaner that was cut in half so that you can make leaves. So let's, begin. let's get started here. Yeah, let's begin. So you take your cup and you outline a circle on the tissue paper I'm, I'm having a blue one and you outline the circle that you're going to cut that's the circle and you want to cut it out So let's get started. I'm going to start outlining the circle with the cup and you're going to need it eight circles. If you want to make a two coloured flower, like this one, you're going to need four of each colour. Um, there's some circles that I prepared earlier. So I'll need one, two, three. Of these and four of the dark ones to make eight of these. There we go. And then I'm going to mix them up so that they, they look nice. And then once you have your colours, you're going to Fold it in half and make teeny tiny slits, two ti tiny slits here. 
and in the bun here. So then you can take your pipe cleaner and put it through the holes onto the other side and into the other hole. Then you put it underneath. You twist it. Twist it with the mm -hmm. other, the longer pipe cleaner. Just pull mine out a bit and twist. And there you go. So then you want to lift some of the paper and start squishing it together to form like these petals to cover up the felt that's showing. So you want to squish it and you, can't, and you want to keep doing this with the other layers as well. And squish it until you are all done with the other layers. It adds a very kind of realistic look to it. It's like all scrunched up a bit. With the other blue one that I made. It's kind of satisfying to squish actually. And the last layer, there we go, if you squish it too much you can flip it out of it, so you can't see the felt, there we go. And then you take these, this felt, this pipe cleaner that you cut in half to make the leaves, so you fold it in half. And you take it and you roll it around. You twist it around the first pipe cleaner. And you can add either two or one leaf, but I think I'm gonna add two to mine and I'm gonna make it more pointy, like a bit of a rose. So, ooh, there's the other leaf. And you can reshape them to be pointier or more curvy. But this is the flower that I made. So blue with the others. Ta da! Now there's some decoration that you can cut in your salt pots. So, have fun! Bye!